Okay, I am all dressed. My bag is packed. We are heading to the gym for a fucking brutal leg day. And we're gonna take the snow scooter across the lake. So we'll go down the hill, across the lake, through the woods, and we should be there in approximately eight-ish minutes. Let me put my bag back here real quick. All right, so we got the GoPro. I record the ride there, and yeah, we'll see you at the gym. All right, so we are here. This will never get old, taking the snow scooter to the gym. Just those words in order, just such a vibe. Okay. All right. Looks like I'm the only one here right now, so we're gonna get started. All right, so four legs today. I have found an exercise that is, I'm considering my staple in my leg routine, and that's the, the split squat on the Smith machine. So that has changed like my results when it comes to talking about, you know, making progress regarding my legs. Like every single time after I do split squats, after my leg day, my legs are so fucking sore. So, first exercise is gonna be leg uh, split squats on the Smith machine. Second exercise is going to be barbell squats. And third exercise, I think I'll do the goblet squat with the dumbbell. And then probably end the leg day with leg extensions and leg curls. Possibly add in two to three sets on the leg press. But yeah, today's gonna be fucking brutal. It's gonna be a good one. So far I got the gym to myself. So yeah, just zoned in, focused. It's exactly my cup of tea. Yeah, I can all, I also would like when other people are here as well. But when you just have the gym to yourself sometimes, it just really helps with just getting yourself zoned in and focused. So I got uh, three more minutes on the treadmill. Then we do some stretching, some knee pulls, some, I don't even actually know what the dynamic stretches for the legs are, but yeah, we're gonna stretch the legs out and then get started. Just gonna do some quick dynamic stretches. The Smith machine is one of those smooth machines that's already heavy with no weights. I don't know what it has to do with the gliding shafts or something or the resistance, but it's just one of those Smith machines. I think somebody just showed up. That's perfectly fine. So just some simple stretches. Since this one is going to be very quad and glute dominant, we're really gonna stretch the quads and glutes out, the hammies as well. Oh, that feels so good. Yeah, when you're older, stretching feels good. Like, real fucking good. When you're younger, in your early 20s, yeah, fuck that. You can be like a fucking young baby tiger. You're ready to just fucking pounce on anything and do whatever. <sighs> yeah, so uh, if you're wondering why I'm barefoot. Not barefoot, I have socks on. I forgot to my... Uh, Shoes. You probably ask, how could how could you forget your shoes? And I like when I got here and I f saw that I didn't have shoes, I asked myself that same question. But in my defense, because I take the snowmobile to the gym, I don't wear shoes. I put the snow the snow boots on and I pack my bag of everything else. And because I normally put my shoes on and I leave with them automatically, yeah, it's not something that I uh, remembered to uh, put in my bag. But it's actually a good day to uh, 
if there was a day that I had to forget my shoes, yeah, it'd, it'd be leg day. Because, yeah, doing lifts barefoot on leg day, yeah, it can actually be very beneficial and more comfortable. And Yeah, so it's not going to be a problem. We'll do one more set of these. One, two, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I got a hamstring stretch for you guys. So if you want a good hamstring stretch, and also this can be a nice way to do like dumbbell RDLs, let's put the Smith machine fairly low, put the bar up against your quads, which should sit like right above your knees. And then from here, Oh my God. Oh, I feel so good. Oh, I don't know if I want to stand back up. Oh, and then you can grab your ankles and pull yourself towards your legs. Oh. oh. Like a million bucks. All right. Oh, my little fuzzy thing fell off. It's okay. All right, so what I'll do is I'll kind of do 10 repetitions as I go down. I'll hold it for three seconds and come back up slowly. So that was one. Then go back down. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, Three, nine. All right, for this last one, we're gonna hold it anywhere between five to 10 seconds and really try to pull ourselves towards our legs. This is also a nice stretch for the lower back as well. This is a very effective stretch. So we're gonna go down one more time. Grab our ankles as far as we can. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Now I'm very confident in today's workout. That was much needed. So, oh, fuck, I hate these. I love them, but I hate them. We're gonna oh, put the Smith, the bar about yay high. And then, yeah, we need a bench. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. So I'll put a, a plate on this back one. To give it some security. Okay. So, all my, actually, all my workouts are in the low volume range. So I'm gonna do one warm up set. It's gonna be each leg about We'll do 10 reps for the warm up. And then the working sets will be three to four sets of eight reps. The fourth set's going to depend on whether if I just have enough left in the tank and I guess if I can mentally get my head around to do another set because these are fucking brutal. Okay. So. Oh, that feels right. Down. We're going all the way down and back up. That's, that's the key variable in this exercise is really getting deep, keeping your chest up. Two. Ten. <sighs> Worst part about it is that it's unilateral. So you got to do both sides, which just takes longer. But who gives a shit? One, nine, ten. All right, so warm up set. I guess the warm up set can be challenging sometimes as well. And so I'm going to stick, I'm not going to ego lift on these. You know, when you use this exercise, and you 
maintain close to like perfect form throughout all the sets and reps and full range of motion, like doing weight that you can 100% control. So I'm talking like 99% control. Like it's, it's an absolute game changer. So I'm not gonna do a weight where if I come up, my knee buckles a little bit, or my, I, I hyperextend my back forward too much. Like, the weight's gonna be challenging, but done effectively in the right way. So, I think I just start with, hmm, I think I'll start with a five and 2.5 kilos. So we'll do 15 pounds on each side at first. Like I said, this Smith machine is already like a little resistant. It has more resistance than usual, but yeah, cause I can make 15 pounds on each side an effective set. So that's what I'm gonna do. So first working set, we're doing eight reps each leg. And take a round of two-ish minute break between sets. And then bump the weight up. So <sighs> here we go. <sighs> Whew. Oh yeah. It was burn. It was burn. And this is like the perfect weight for a first set. I could throw a fucking 20 kilo 45 on and, you know, perform to what looks like a really good eight reps. But I know that I have to gradually, because what works best for me is to gradually warm up. But just because I'm not going my maximum weight every set does not mean I'm not still stimulating muscle growth. It's not like I'm throwing a 2.5 on here, like, or a 1.25 kilo plate, which is two and a half pounds or whatever. It's not like I'm doing that for my first set. Like I really feel the burn on 15 pounds on each side. But yeah, I can go pretty heavy on my lifts, but I'm trying to stimulate, you know, muscle growth to the maximum extent that I can. So for that, yeah, all you gotta do is throw your ego away. To, for me, there's two types of training hard. There's training hard like a fucking wild animal, what a lot of people do. You know, they want to fucking push their limits with every set, and that's okay, but there's two di different directions when you're pushing your limits. So, one, training like a wild, training hard like a wild animal, and two, training hard but smart and to the point to where you, all of your sets are effective to matching your fitness ideal of making progress. So yeah, yeah, it's taken me almost 10 years to really, 10 years, I'd say like eight, nine years to really understand that. But yeah, you know, this is part of the journey. This is part of the fitness journey. You know, learning over time, becoming better, you're not gonna fucking learn everything and become a master Yoshi in the first year or two or three. Like you're always gonna keep learning shit and what works best for you, especially as you get older, things just change. All right, enough fucking talking. All right, second set. Eight. Has a set ever made you feel like your mind wants to throw up? Like puke, not your body. You don't feel it in your stomach, but when the set just makes your mind like Ugh. That's what that one just made me feel like. All right, so yeah, I can still control this weight pretty pretty good, but every time I went down, I really just felt a stretch and my muscles working. So, 
let's say we add on a five kilo. Yeah. So 10 pounds. So this is the third set, third working set. This could initially be the last set. We're gonna see how it feels. But if I still have some in the tank, we'll take this off, throw a 20 kilo on a 45 pound plate and do that. So. <clears throat> oh, fuck. So that'll be the last set. Not, I do have more left in the tank, but I had something pop, like right below my knee, like the patella, I think that's what it's called. The patella tendon. I don't know if that's what it was, but it didn't hurt, but it was like a weird discomfort. Not painful, but yeah, I don't want to risk it. So. We're gonna move on to the next exercise, which will be the barbell squats. All right, so squats, three sets of eight. We're gonna do a warm-up set with the bar, but our first, our three working sets, you know, we're gonna be up there with the weight where I struggle a little bit at, at the end of every set. So, a little warm-up set. Nine, 10, yeah. not too bad. You know what, we'll do maybe four sets of eight. Cause I don't like, yeah, squats is not something that I'm very comfortable with just automatically going in and loading a bunch of weight. I wanna make sure my knees are fucking healthy before I start really loading on weight. Okay. Eight. Okay. This felt good. Second set. Okay. Not a bad set either. So we're just gonna keep going with the flow. There's a lot of things that the, the cold can uh, affect with your workouts. Two of them that come to the top of my head are as one the water intake, it's so cold. It's like, I don't feel thirsty a lot of the time, which even outside of cold climates, there are also other times where you just don't feel thirsty and you have to force yourself to drink water. I get that, I know. But with like the cold winter, when it's negative 20 degrees outside, yeah, it's like you automatically just forget. And so that's obviously gonna affect your workout and your, your strength in the gym. And two, it takes more time to get warmed up, you know. Usually I can put, you know, three plates on each side and do that for a set of eight, which I probably can. I'm not going to today just because I feel like it's been a couple of weeks since I squatted and I haven't consistently added it back into my leg day routine to where I'm comfortable with just pushing my limits on the weight that I put on the bar every week. Um, but yeah, this would be the third set. I'll see how this feels. And if it feels good, I'll do one more set of eight and put another, put a 25 on. So that's 275 pounds. Yeah, nothing crazy, but that's where I'm at. So yeah, it doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks or how much they lift, it's what, you do and how you do it and how you control the weight. So.
Come on. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so we're going to stop right there. Felt good. I could probably go up. But like I said, you know, I want to slowly ease back into squats. You know, maybe this is where I end off next leg day when I do squats. But each time, your knees will be warm. You'll, you know, strengthen the tendons, the knees, the muscles. Yeah, self-explanatory, talking about progress. But yeah. I want to control the weight. I want to stimulate the muscles that the exercise is supposed to stimulate. And that's pretty much it. So off to the next exercise, which will be goblet squats with the dumbbells. All right, so the third exercise, we're gonna do dumbbell goblet squats. And just like the first two exercises, I'm gonna do one warm-up set with some lighter weight and then go into my three working sets uh, with challenging weight. So, just do a set of 10, get the, the movement recognized and under control. One, nine, 10. That was good, that felt good. So what is this? Uh, 10, 20, there's about 25 pounds. So yeah, I'll probably jump up to the 60s immediately and start there. All right, so first set. So if you're somebody who actually has like bad ankle mobility and when you squat, your heels come up off the ground, what you can do is you can put a plate and yeah, you've seen like the heel elevated squats. You just put your heels on the plate and then you squat down. And that just helps you uh, stabilize more because until you have good ankle mobility, yeah, you want to do your squats effectively and be able to target the right muscles. Now, with the heel elevated squats, you're gonna put a lot more, a little bit more emphasis on your quads though. So just know that. All right. <clears throat> One. So there will be people who hate when they see somebody, you know, talking to the camera with a mic and all that. But you know what's worse than me or anybody else talking to their phone with a mic on? Scrolling with your phone. See, my phone's recording the whole time. I'm not, I don't have my phone, I'm not scrolling, I'm not getting fucking distracted from why I'm here. And the more you talk, whether that be to yourself when you're by your when you're alone or when you're in the gym talking to the camera, you become more articulate over time, and you become better with your words and getting across what you're trying to say with a more clear visualization, and you it allows your allows you to be more transparent, and you know the more you do it, the more easy it is to be transparent on your thoughts and what you want to say. So yeah. You know, there will be people who hate on people who record themselves, but yeah, there's nothing worse than sitting on your phone in between sets or for fucking 10 minutes on a machine scrolling on your phone. Like, if this is what helps me stay concentrated in the gym, then yeah, I'm doing this shit. I could give a fuck. All right, so, second set. Oh, 
You know, despite the strength from today, yeah, it's a good session so far. I'm fucking sweating. And to sweat in Sweden at the gym in, in the wintertime, yeah, for me, it's, it's, a, it's a struggle. But that's how I know it's a good session because I've been here for over two weeks and I've been coming here probably five days a week since. This is the first time I've sweated. And not that I don't work hard on all the other days, but so we got the last set. What are these? So each big one is 10, because it's five or five kilos, so that's 10 pounds. So that's 60. Then you have 70. So these are then you got 2.575 plus the bar. Either 80 or 85 pounds. And they have one more heavy. And I believe those are, so that's 25, 20, so it's 25, 25, it's 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. So yeah, they do have 95s here, but yeah, the plates are huge and it's just, they're very uncomfortable looking to grab. I can handle 95s on dumbbell exercises, you know, bench press, shoulder press, whatever, but. Yeah, they're just, they're fucking huge. They're old school dumbbells, so, which is what I really like about this gym. I am gonna do calves too. And I'm gonna do them right here on the Smith machine. And I train calves two different ways. I train them with slow, controlled, squeezing them. And then I do, like I'll do three sets like that. And then I'll do like three sets of like fucking just banging them out, just whew, until they just burn out. Oh, my calves are so sore the next coming days after that. All right, enough fucking yep in my fucking mouth. Last set. Oh, shit. I underestimated that. Okay. Okay. So I do hear other people in the other room where the quad, the leg extension and leg curl is and the leg press. So I'm going to do my calves in here, kill about five to 10 minutes, you know, give them some time. I don't want to like go in there and interrupt them or make them feel like weird or uncomfortable because I'm like recording and stuff. Some people don't like to be in the camera and though you don't always intentionally film other people, but Sometimes they walk behind you or past your camera and yeah, sometimes it just makes them feel weird. So I don't want to do that to anybody. So I always respect others in the gym. Now, if somebody walks in front of my camera, I could care less. You know, it doesn't affect my workout. Some people act like, oh my God, can't you see I'm fucking vlogging? I just lost all my strength in my quadriceps and now I can no longer fucking do my last set of quad extensions or leg extensions. What the fuck? Ah, oh, that'd be so dramatic, bro. The gym is not yours. Besides this one, this one feels like mine. All right, time for calves. All right, I don't actually know how many sets I'm gonna do with calves. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with the bar and I'm gonna add weight each time. I think I'll do with my, with the, the, the the sets where I really focus on controlling and squeezing, I'll probably do around 20 reps for those sets. And then I'll have two to three sets, either with the same weight or maybe lighter, where I just really just have a, a, like a repetitive tempo where I just burn them out until I just can't do another one. So pretty much like two to three sets of failure, as I should say, so. All right. Three, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. Oh yeah. You always feel that shit. 
when you really train calves, it's just not fun. I think a lot of people know that. The pain is not fucking fun. It doesn't feel good. It does feel good, but it don't. So we're gonna add a 10. Yeah, this is an exercise where shoes would come in handy because what I really wanna do is stretch my calf as far down as possible, but that just hurts the fuck out of my foot, my middle bottom of my foot. Because <sighs> yeah, this wood, the crease is like digging into the middle of my foot. So I kind of just stop with the, with the slight bend, go back up and squeeze. But yeah, that last set tells me that this also works. Here we go. One, 18, 19, 20. Oh my fucking God. I got one, max two more sets with weight until I do my burnout sets. Oh, that really, I really feel the pump. Okay, okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh! Whew. Oh. oh, yeah, I'm gonna feel these tomorrow. That's a, that's a given. That's for sure. All right, I got, I'm gonna do one more set though. I'm gonna put a, a five on, ten pounds on. Yeah, I'm. I, my whole life I've trained with pounds, but the last two years I've been traveling the whole world, and most the metric system outside of the U U.S. mostly everywhere is kilos. So, yeah, I say I'm going to add a 5, but I'm actually adding 10. Or a 10 pounds, but I'm actually adding 5 kilos. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. All right. So, if I get to the point on this set where I feel like I have to do burnouts before I hit 20, I'm going to stop right there, strip the weight, and then do my reps with the burnout. Or, actually... No. If I have to do a fucking burnout mid-set, I'll fucking finish it with the burnout. And then do my burnout sets after. <sighs> okay. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Oh. Oh my god. All right, that's max, that's max capacity for the, those working sets. I couldn't go up. Oh, those burn. I feel like I got boulders on the back of my legs. All right, so these next sets, I'm just gonna get up here and fucking have a tempo of just going until it burns. So I'm not squeezing. It's just like up, down, up, down, up, down. And so, yeah, when I do add weight, it won't be as much as the working sets where I squeeze at the top. But yeah, we are going to add weight. So, first set. So, we're going to go like this, and then... Oh, cool. That's what I mean by burnout with a repetitive tempo. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're rock solid right now. All right. I'm gonna throw some weight. This might be my last set on this. I think some more people just showed up, so really just take advantage of this next set and then go into the other room to where they can probably have this room to themselves and We'll do the leg extensions, leg curls, and possibly the leg press. Hello. Oh. 
Oh. All right, so it's the last set on that. Now we'll head into the other room and do the leg extensions and uh, leg curls. Okay. So, I'm gonna raise this up a bit. One more. Oh yeah, that feels good. All right, so now we're on the leg extensions and we'll do one warm-up set. Uh, this exercise, you know, with the leg extensions, it's gonna really warm the knees up differently than the other exercises that I did today. So I'll do one warm-up set, pry of 20, and then I'll have my three working sets. I wanna say eight, three sets of eight on my working sets, but I almost wanna say failure as well. So like my, I'm sure, like for my RIR on my three working sets, I want to be between like one to two, maybe three reps. So my reps in reserve, how many would I could I have done if I would have kept, doing, kept going. So that's where I wanna be. So we'll do the first warm up set. Just really focus on the knees, the quads. That's one, two, 18. Oh, 19, one more. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I felt those. So yeah. Positive uh, warm-up set. All right, first set, first set of eight. One, it's really fucking squeeze them. Uh, two, come on. Come on. Oh my god, I fucking burnt. Oh, I'm gonna fill my legs tomorrow. I really am. But that's good, I love it. I had to climb a tree today, this morning. That's why I didn't do legs yesterday. Because yesterday I flew my drone into the tree for the second time in two weeks. The first time I had to climb a 60 foot tree and get it out the very top. And then today, this tree wasn't as high. It was still high. And it was literally stuck at the, like the very top peak point. I climbed up, I looked for it, couldn't find it. Climbed down, looked a little bit harder on the lower part of the tree, couldn't find it. Climbed back up, but this time when I climbed back up, I said, I'm finding this fucking drone. So I climbed up and I was fucking shaking branches, branches and shit, getting the snow off. And I saw this little blade at the top of the tree. I was like, what is that? I started fucking breaking branches. And then finally I broke so many branches off, I could clearly see it as my drone. Yeah, so when I saw the drone, yeah, it was a big sign of relief. Because if I get to the top of the tree and I can't find it, that's a disappointment. Like, I'm at the top of this tree. I've looked all in this tree. Can't find it, but it's in this tree. Yeah, fuck that. I make sure to find that shit. Nothing was broke this time. The drone works. So I'm very grateful for that. All right, that's been like two or three minutes. Second set. One. Ah, uh, two. Ugh, come on. Make it hurt, come on. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> One more. Oh, oh fuck. Oh. So I'm gonna do one more set of eight. And then after this set of eight, which would initially be my last working set, I'm gonna do this thing called the Tower of Terror. I didn't make this up and I didn't make the name up myself. I've heard it, I've seen it before. Not a lot, but I've seen people do it before. 
So basically, after I do this set of eight, I'm gonna take a minute break, and then I'm gonna do five reps. And after five reps, I'm gonna bump it up to the next lightest weight. Five reps. And after every time I do five reps, I bump it up, and I bump it up until it gets to the very top. Yeah. Why not, huh? Why the fuck not? I'm here. I have an opportunity to get better and put my legs through pain. That's why I came here. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, last set. One, two, uh, one more. Uh, oh. God damn. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh. Oh, yeah, you really got to get uh, yourself mentally prepared for this as well. It's not always about recovering between sets physically. It's also mentally. And I think mentally, you know, overpowers the physical aspect. Your body might be tired, but if you're mentally back from your previous set, from that previous exhaustion you just got from that set, if you're mentally prepared and your body's not quite there yet, yeah, your mind's always gonna win. How far are you willing to push yourself? Yeah, your body will quit eventually, but if your mind's there to fucking push it, then your body's just gonna keep on rolling. So, sometimes you just gotta close your eyes. And take deep breaths. Breathe through your belly. Breathe in through your nose. All the way through your belly. And slowly exhale. And that's the best way to, at least for me, to get myself mentally back in the game. All right, so here is the Tower of Terror. We're doing five reps, lowering the weight, five reps, lowering the weight, five reps, lowering the weight, until we get to the top. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Lower the weight, five again. One, uh, three, four, five. Oh my God, it burns. Deep breath, five again. One, two, three, four. Uh. Oh, fuck. Deep breath, five again, come on. One. Two, three, oh my God, it burns. Come on, four, uh, two more sets. Deep breath, five reps. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my God. Uh. Okay, last one. Really squeeze it, come on. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh. 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 oh my God, it burns. Oh fuck. Oh. Fuck. oh. For somebody who struggles with feeling the leg extensions after your working sets, you feel like you didn't feel anything, do this fucking shit right here. It's Tower of Terror. Five reps, lower the weight. So I think I did 
I don't know, five or six, seven, I don't think seven, five or six sets without stopping. Total of 30-ish, if not 35 reps. It's like an insane drop set. Oh my God, my legs are thrashed. My quads are fucking, <sighs> okay. Give the quads a break, we're off to the leg, uh, leg curls. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my God. Okay, so we got two more exercises. I'm either gonna do two to three sets of eight with weight that I'm really just fucking destroying my hamstrings with that by that seventh or eighth rep that it, I can really feel the burn in my hamstrings. So two to three sets on this, and then we got the leg press next to me, and two to three sets of heavy-ish weight, whether that's eight reps or failure. So here we go. Adjust this real quick. This is just one. Maybe that's better. Let's we'll see. That's better. One. Two. Seven. Eight. Oh. Oh yeah, I feel those. <sighs> My legs are really, really thrashed right now. Especially after that fucking Tower of Terror shit. Oh, that's brutal. <sighs> Let's sit here for a quick moment and do the second set. One. <laughs> Two. Uh. Eight. Oh. oh shit. Alright, All right, we're gonna do one more. Oh my god. Alright, last set. <sighs> One, eight, oh, God. Oh. Let's go over to the leg press now. Finish this workout up. So we're gonna do three sets. I actually don't know. This is the last set. I don't know what I'm doing. But I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to sets and reps wise. But how I perform my reps will be full range and really focusing on the eccentric. So. One. Nine, ten, okay. <sighs> Come on. One, two, We're gonna do one more set. I gotta piss. All right, so third and last set of today's leg workout. So yeah, I only have three plates on each side for the leg press, but also with the leg press, 
I feel like it becomes unoptimal when you get to like a certain point with adding weight because that everybody's different and there are people who are way stronger than others, but if you have seven, eight plates on each side, there's a good chance you're gonna be, you know, using other muscles to help work that shouldn't be working to get the weight up. So, I can add five, six, seven plates on each side, but I feel like when, I, when I'm doing that, I'm not really getting the muscle stimulation that I would with just stopping at three or four plates on each side. I can go really slow down, control the weight, slow with the eccentric, and then control the weight back up. I don't even have to like shoot with my hips. It's all just with leg drive. And yeah, it feels natural in the sense of working the muscles that should be worked on the leg press. So yeah, you'll, you'll see, you know, I can control this weight really easy, but uh, I really feel the proper engagement in the muscles. are fucking hurting like a bitch but that's good so that's it for the leg day what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go walk on the tre tre treadmill for 10 minutes I'm not taking you guys with me there I wanted to just zone out not think about oh, shit walk the lack of acid ass. out of my legs before I have to get back on the snow scooter and drive home so, yeah, I'll see you after the treadmill. All right, so just got done with the treadmill and we're now gonna make our way back home, but the dues were paid today. Overall, it was a really fucking good leg session execution was on point i'm i'm very happy and content with how every exercise went honestly you know besides like the strength not being quite there you know quite back yet today was very very good and i i'm gonna pay it for it tomorrow my legs are gonna be sore probably for the next couple of days especially the calves but i love it i like doing this <sighs> gonna take a minute and sit here and enjoy this day because it's not negative 20 today it's actually the weather is quite bearable so just sitting here enjoying the peace and the beautiful mountains and the snow just being here honestly it's important to take moments of gratitude and realize that what you have and where you're at is enough and more is not always better but just being happy with what you have and having that mindset more will always come when you're not even asking or looking for it and things just get better so <sighs> that's gonna wrap it up for leg day we'll be back tomorrow if not the next day for probably an arm and shoulder workout or just one of the two but yeah until next time see you guys later peace <laughs>